Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we're unlocking the new Dark Goblin that just came out last night with the Jungle Arena for 150 gems. I will get it to level 6, I believe, which is one level below tournament standard. So here we go, buying 100 Dark Goblins there for 150 gems. Now I'm going to go ahead and build myself a deck that will do some live battles with the Dark Goblin. Alright, so here's the deck I came up with. I went ahead and upgraded the Dark Goblin to level 6. Uh, which is one level below tournament standard. Let's go ahead here, start off a fresh grand challenge and get started here. The reason I want to do a grand challenge versus ladder is a level six uh, dark goblin might be too low of a level for um, for forty three hundred trophies and higher. So let's go ahead here, furnace drop right there. The ice golem was a pretty interesting location there. He might be doing uh, so many dark goblins today, guys. Look at that. Look at that range. Uh, we'll do that. Um, I want these. We're gonna fireball this, and then we're gonna scar me here in a second. Once the ice golem gets out of range of that scar me, um, but looking back at it, it was probably wasn't necessary with that scar me. But we did manage to force a zap regardless. Now he's got the royal giant, which I want to do this and this. Does this work? Or are we dead? Is that too much? There we go. Oh, the log though. I want the log so bad, guys. Why won't this kid give me the log? Uh, he's gonna roll giant right here, I think. No, but we can go ahead and do a mega minion right here with a ice golem to tank his mega minion. Uh, and whoops, that was bad. Uh, we'll scar me. You know that we, we're gonna scar me here because I don't want to take a million damage from that mega minion. Now he's gonna come in with a roll giant immediately to follow up these uh, minions here. And yeah, we're dead. Officially dead. Can we do this though? Will that kill the minions? If it does, boom and boom. Oh, that's good, guys. That is good right there. So much for being dead. We are not dead. Uh, yet, that is. Um, but level 6, uh, Dark Goblin. I don't know. It, it looks... Okay, it doesn't die to Zaspel. I was worried it would die to Zaspel on uh, the challenges here, but... I think on ladder, it definitely will die to Zaspel, which is why I probably can't use it. But even at 1 health, it still manages to get, like... Uh, two hits off, which I'm happy with, guys. That's that's decent. Go ahead and do this right here. And then we'll go ahead and do Skarmy here to kill that Dark Goblin, that pesky little guy. And then we'll do Miner here. Maybe that uh, will tank a couple of hits. Do a Furnace Drop right here. And the Furnace should tank for the Royal Giant when it comes in, depending on where he drops it. We'll go ahead and Dark Goblin back here in the back to take out those minions. Boom and boom, boom. Not even a minion hit, or one minion hit, I guess it was. Uh, we'll do this and this. Look at that Dark Goblin, man, just so fast. Getting right up in the action there. Uh, dying to the tower there, love that. And then we'll do uh, Skarmy right there, take out that. Royal Giant with the Elite Barbarians. Mega Minion getting two shots off. Uh, doing work to that tower, guys. We'll go ahead and Furnace right here with an Ice Golem to take out these Elite Barbarians. And uh, I think we're looking okay so far, guys. We ha barely took any damage in this battle. Uh, Dark Goblin, no! Rest in peace, you! Oh, you lived a good life. You lived a good life, Dark Goblin. And there we go, taking out that world GG pretty quickly. Uh, Ice Golem there, give me the thumbs up as well as the GG. And let's go ahead here and do another battle. Alright, so here we go, battle number two underway. Facing off against this guy. And we have the Furnace in the starting hand, which is ideal. Now, for those of you that have already unlocked the Dark Goblin, what are your initial impressions on him? Do you think he's strong, balanced, or weak? And what decks are you currently using him? Uh, I thought about using a Hog Rider deck. Anything fast cycling, I figured would be a good bet with the Dark Goblin. But he moves so dang fast, you know? Moves so dang fast. We'll go ahead and Ice Golem right here. That'll distract that. Then we'll Mega Minion. And oh no, the Dark Goblin going down, guys. I was expecting it to hit to tank a bit more from that Musketeer, but unfortunately, just not the case. Now, thankfully, the Miner in there doing a bit of work, but we are dead. Uh, death by Elite Barbarians here in just a second, guys. Oh, those Elite Barbarians, man. Well, Skarmy, though. Boom. Skarmy, yes. He zapped way too early there, guys. Zapped way too early, but he's got the zap and the log. So the log is a strong counter to the Dark Goblin, guys. Uh, the release of the Dark Goblin just made me want the log even more, but I don't have it yet. Ooh, so we'll do this, then we'll do Dark Goblin to take out that furnace. Boom! One, two, three, four, five, six. Value so much. 
There we go. There we go, guys. That's value. I want to go ahead and do this right here. I don't want to use the ice golem. I need to save it for the elite barbarians in case he tries to do uh, sneaky elite barbs. Then we'll do naked miner. All by itself. We're going to drop right here. He's going to go ahead and elite barbarians that. Uh, no. Yep. There's elite barbarians. And then we'll go ahead and do ice golem to tank these elite barbarians right now. Until the until his ice golem goes down. Then we'll go ahead and do... No! That was a half second too early. We still forced a zap or a log as well. But, uh, wow! The Mega Mini just left that Elite Barbarian before it died. Uh, if you go back and watch that in slow motion. It definitely left the Elite Barbarian before it was dead. And allowed the Elite Barbarian to get a hit off my tower. Because the tower on the right hand side had already fired one shot. So, kind of unfortunate. But, it just happens. Go ahead and Ice Golem right here. Boom! And then we'll do Miner right here. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Miner. Appreciate it. Fire all these elite barbarians, please. Boom. Do Mega Minion here. Furnace drop right here. Ice Golem, Zap combo to kill these minions. There we go. And. Well, oh, this is fireball value, I think. Boom. Thank you. Uh, we'll do Dark Goblin right back here. And we'll do a Mega Minion over here with a Minor Drop. Please, Ice Golem, please protect the Dark Goblin. Where's my Fireball? Don't you want to use the Fireball just yet? Actually, you know what? We'll use it, YOLO. We'll do it. Boom. Come on, Ghost and Work. Please, go to work. Go to town. Do whatever it is you do, Dark Goblin. He left, guys. He left. The Dark Goblin is going to do some work to that tower. We'll use another one right here to finish that tower off, man. Boom. Dark Goblin for the win. A GG to him, guys. Wow. Alright, so here we go. Battle number three underway. Facing off against uh, Saldana. My chair is so squeaky. Can you guys hear that? I don't know. It's squeaky. Hopefully you can hear that. Hopefully not, maybe. I don't know. But we'll do furnace drop. Oh no! Bad furnace drop, guys! Bad furnace drop. The reason that's bad is because I want it one tile further to the left to uh, do work. Let's, does this reach? No, it doesn't reach. I think one tile over it would reach, but it still does work. Mega Minion right here. Kill his Mega Minion. Please don't have... Um, we'll scar me this, though. Does he zap? He does, so we'll do this right here. Boom. Another Furnace Drop right here. We're digging ourselves a huge Elixir hole right here, guys. Spending way too much Elixir to answer this defense, especially considering uh, that Giant got a couple hits off on that Furnace. Um, he's definitely got a huge advantage on us right now, guys. Um... I think we're going to lose this battle. I have to, If I have to be honest, I think we're going to lose this battle. Just based off of how much Elixir we've spent earlier on. And I, don't, I can't do a counter push here with my Dark Goblin because he'll just Mega Minion it. So I have to kind of get ready for this defense. We'll go ahead here with uh, Mega Minion right here. We don't have my Furnace available to pull. So we have to expect, uh, ex expect a Zap spell right here. Then we'll Furnace right here. There we go. So I think that exchange right there kind of brought us a little bit back into the, uh, a little bit back into this game right here. Especially because those skeletons doing some work to that furnace. So, soak up those fire spirits. And my fire spirits will get in there and finish off his furnace. Then we'll do a quick Dark Goblin, uh, minor drop. Force some pressure, force some cards out of his rotation. Maybe, never mind, uh, he's gonna go ahead and giant to support this musketeer. Yep, predicted it, guys. And then we'll go ahead and do Skarmy. Ice Golem. Uh, Elite Barbarians. Um, take that out right there. Kill the Giant, please. And then we'll go ahead and use another Furnace. The reason I'm using the Furnace on the opposite lane as to the tower that is weak is because I want to be able to have extra length to pull the Giant over. So we're going to chill out here for a second. Then I want to do a Naked Minor Drop. Right there. Do a uh, this right here. Ice Golem to tank. Another Furnace to pull with a Mega Minion. Scar me as well. Boom. There we go. Kill all that, please. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Do this right here. Dark Goblin. Thank you. Oh, that, that splash damage, guys. Wow, that was huge splash right there. But this is where we die, guys. This is where all of those 
negative electric trades come back to haunt us right here. Do this right here with a uh, this drop. Oh, there's Elite Barbarians, guys. Boomage, death in two seconds. Two Elite Barbarians, rage. Oh, they're so strong, guys. Zap. Boom. Yes. Minor drop right here. Um, Dark Goblin. Need to get my Fireball ASAP, please. Give it to me, please. Fireball. Fireball, please. Boom. Uh, this right here. Zap. Yes! What a comeback, guys! Wow! We did it! Oh, we did it! Yes! Was not expecting to win that at all. But let's finish this video off with just one more battle. Like I said before, guys, let me know what you think about the new Dark Goblin in the comment section below. Um, but they also announced the Executioner is the next card coming out, which probably is the card in Jungle Arena that I'm most excited for, is that... Um, is that Executioner. It just looks so cool, guys. Let's go ahead and do this and this. Maybe four some Elixir spent on defense. What do you got for me? Uh, scar me this. Boom. Look at that Dark Goblin just doing work right there. That, that tower is at almost half health already. Uh, thank you. Gonna ignore those minions there. Uh, gonna go make a minion. Ice Golem here. There we go. Kill that. Pull over with this. There we go. And then we're gonna die right here because that uh, was a ton of electric spent on defense. Too much in my opinion. We're gonna soak up. Uh, we're gonna soak up those archer hits. Even though it's probably not good, I need to build back the electric that I spent on that push there, guys. On that defense, rather. Uh, so we're gonna just soak that up. So do this and this. Keep the pressure up. Fast cycle deck against golem deck. You want to force them to spend elixir. Uh, on little mini defenses, so they can't build up a huge push. So we'll zap this. Boom. Uh, we'll Mega Minion here. And, oh, this is where we die. Death by Golem. Uh, please don't zap. Please don't zap. Please don't zap. Boom. There we go. Okay, so, uh, we're going to take a ton of damage by these Golemites here. But it isn't enough to bring him back into this game, I don't think. Got a pretty strong lead here so far. We'll Furnace up. Put on pressure on the right hand side. And we, all, we only have to defend for a minute and 10 seconds. And let's see here. Let's see here. Um, can we do minor Ice Golem uh, Dark Goblin? Then we'll go ahead and do Mega Minion in the back to kill these archers first. Kill the archers, please. Zap this. Boom. Save the Dark Goblin. Never mind. Rest in peace. Um, Dark Goblin, you were missed. You did a lot for me. I appreciate it. And ooh, Infernal Dragon. We'll see how your Infernal Dragon likes my Dark Goblins. I don't know if he likes it, but we'll see. Oh, the Fireball, though. That Fireball value. There we go. Uh, Mega Min doing work with that Ice Golem there. And drop down another Furnace right here. Zap this. I think that Zap is value. And then we'll surround with his Skarmy. Now, Skarmy versus Ice Wizard... It really depends on your card levels. If you are on ladder, and you only have, uh... If you're, if you're not at tournament standard, your, your skeletons actually die by one shot to the Ice Wizard. Which makes a difference there. But there we go. Two crown victory, guys. Good game. Thumbs up, as well as the well played to my Golem opponent right there. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Just kind of a quick look at the Dark Goblin. Like I said before, let me know your thoughts on him in the comment section down below. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.